Hey guys, welcome to Final Fantasy 1 Dawn of Souls, the retro, non-retro, retro, super version of the GBA. And yeah, I'm in a different spot than I was previously from the end of the last video. It's because over the big old time of almost a month, I decided to, you know, move 10 steps. Uh, okay, so... Off screen, I went to the next area because all I had to do was go and heal my town, and I didn't even buy anything. I guess I cut off, you know, $189,000, but, you know, didn't feel like it. So, that's cool. Ne next place, so, the thing is, we just went to a fire cavern volcano thing, and everyone knows, of course, that whenever there's fire, there's always a nice place, so, that is where we're at the cavern of ice. Woo! Oh man, this is gonna be fun, guys. You're gonna love it. So icy. It's just, it's just nice, man. Well, I'm surprised I haven't run into anything. Can you even run into enemies in this in this area? I, I wanna find out. Wow, you can. That just took forever. Okay, so fun fact. You can run into enemies. It just took way too long. I'm, but I don't know why I'm complaining. I mean, it's like I don't really know why I'm complaining. I mean, it's free stuff, right? And I, I say it's free stuff because basically by having the ability to just get around it so easily, it basically allows me to you know, keep all my items, because I don't run into any monsters, so, free stuff. Yes. Okay, so, tip about the Cavern of Ice, obviously fire is just an amazing spell here, but also there, there are apparently a couple monsters that can petrify your team, and if that's the case, you're gonna need either a stone, which I didn't bother getting, or a golden needle, because apparently gold needles cure stone. And if you don't have any, you're screwed, because stone is permanent until... Either I think you die, or... I don't really know. I don't really know if there's much else to it, to be honest. I'm pretty sure it's a permanent thing. <laughs> I think, um... I might be able to get it cured. I don't really know. I don't know if you go to the church and cure it, but... If not, you're gonna have to buy an item, or find one, which is possible, but it takes while and kind of waste of time really because I don't think they cost that much probably 500 well that's, that's how much you sell them for I don't even know not really sure okay so I feel like I remember this spot Well, this this reminds me of that one game where you're like, I I just feel like I've been in these situations before because I forgot what it's called, but there's games with these ice paths, and if you stepped on them, you just fell immediately. And no, it's not Pokemon. Well, actually, it was definitely in there, but I I fe I've seen this before a billion times. I feel like maybe if I named them all, it'd take me forever. So. Hmm. Well, that's okay. That's all the fun, right? It's all the fun that comes along with it. Alright, so... So... Aw. Oh, of course I would be the one to step in the, in the in the trap, right? Ooh, we got some... Did we really get clothes? Are you serious? Clothes? That's like what you start with. I mean, I'd hope you guys are wearing clothes. We're in a very very cold place. If you don't close, that would suck. That would, that'd be horrible. Well, nothing else to do now. Ah, great. Here's a tip, don't die. Wow. Okay, that looks painful. Doesn't that look painful? Let's walk on it. <laughs> Cause you know the best thing to do when you see something painful looking is to walk on it, right? Whoa, blue eyes. Dang, I didn't know Yu-Gi-Oh was a sponsor here. Man, 
Only two hits. That's actually surprisingly easy. Ooh, ice armor. I could use that. You know, because we're in an ice place, I figure some ice armor would help. But hey, who's to say? So. How? Okay, what? Really? Can I not wear the arm? I. Oh, wait. I think it's technically a little weaker, so it's not really optimal. However, whoever said optimal was the way to go, right? I'm unorthodox, bruh. <laughs> That's gotta do a lot. That looks pretty painful. If I were hit with a sword that not only cut me, but also bursts me into flames or ignited me or whatever, uh, I'd feel a lot of pain, I'm pretty sure. I mean, just a hunch, you know? Just a hunch of something like that would hurt a little bit. Because, hey, you never know. I could be like Superman or whatever. Okay, it's not here. Alright, uh... Different path. This way. Nope, not it. <laughs> that was easy. What a great, great spot. I mean, that was completely pointless. Who would ever fall for that, right? Yeah. No one. Okay, so. Oh, oh, look at that. This reminds me like it was reused from the Cavern of Earth with the Vampire because that door position just looks way too familiar to be a coincidence. Okay, that did more damage than the Fire Sword. What the heck is that? What? Dude, come on, bro. Barely got hit. Nub. Ugh. I hate it when I have to revive people. Because that means they were too weak to actually live on their own. Cool, I just restored 20 health with something that costs a lot more than that. Ah, uh, I are smart, right? Oh, free stuff. <laughs> nice! I wish I could find six. Jeez, more? Why don't they just put all the money in one chest? Don't you... I mean, really? Wouldn't that just save 180? Wouldn't that just save so much time? Yeah, so much time. <sighs> cool. All right. Well, honestly, I'm gonna end it off right here. Um, yeah. There's not much to talk about today, so it's not like going on really is going to make this a very big, exciting adventure. But uh, when I come back. It'll be a lot more exciting for sure. So, I'll see you guys then, and uh, have a nice day.